the big squirrel, and the little rhinoceros. One morning, as the sun rose over the land of the Thousand Shadows, the rhinoceros' head began to itch. Since he couldn't scratch the itch with his big feet, he charged straight at the first tree he saw. Wham! The tree toppled over and Sleepy Squirrel tumbled to the ground. Watch where you're going, the squirrel scolded. But the rhinoceros just laughed. The itch was gone and that was all that mattered. About the same time, the lion marched through the meadow, roaring so loud the earth shook. I am the greatest. I am the strongest. I am the king of kings. A mouse peeked through her burrow and squeaked. You scared the daylights out of me. The strong should help the weak. That's the best way to prove your strength. But the lion just laughed and flicked sand on her face with the tuft of his tail. Later that day, a crocodile started grinding and gnashing his teeth very loudly. The frog, sitting on a nearby leaf, croaked, Stop it! How can I catch any flies when you're making that racket? But the crocodile just laughed and gnashed his teeth more loudly than ever. That night, the squirrel, the mouse, and the frog called a meeting of the little animals in the land of a thousand shadows. First, the squirrel chattered, I want to be so big so I can get even with the rhinoceros. Then the mouse squeaked, I want to be so big so I can get even with the lion. Then the frog croaked, I want to be so big so I can get even with the crocodile. But the other animals were happy being small. One by one, they hopped, crawled, skipped, and flew away. Soon, just the mouse, frog, and squirrel were left. They drifted off to sleep right there, all dreaming of one wish, to be bigger than the crocodile, bigger than the lion, bigger than the rhinoceros. And when the sun rose over the land of a thousand shadows, something strange had happened. The squirrel, the mouse, and the frog all woke up enormous, and they were all enormously happy. Meanwhile, the rhino, the lion, and the crocodile all woke up tiny, bewildered. They stared at each other and skulked away. But soon, the squirrel found out that being a giant wasn't easy. He was so heavy that branches broke under his weight, and he was so busy trying to find a few hundred pounds of acorns to eat, he had no time to worry about getting even with the rhinoceros. He missed being light as a feather, hopping from tree to tree with plenty of nuts to eat. Not that the little rhinoceros had it any better. Now when he charged against a tree, all he got was a headache. Yesterday, everyone had been afraid of him. Today, he was the one he was afraid. The rhinoceros was sorry he had been so nasty. The giant mouse couldn't possibly fit in her old burrow, and it was hard work digging a new one. The mouse couldn't understand why she had wanted to be bigger than the lion. The lion was getting hungry, but he was much too tiny to stalk his prey. Must I be reduced to eating grass like a donkey? He grumbled and thumped angrily with his tail, but not a single blade of grass trembled. The lion regretted his arrogant pride. The giant frog sat on a tiny pond, croaking miserably. He spent the whole day catching flies, but he could never catch anything to fill his great big belly. The frog wished he'd never made this wish. The little crocodile was so afraid he'd end up as a fish food, he didn't dare go, go near the water. And when he heard the frog croaking, the crocodile trembled to the tip of his tail, truly sorry he'd ever been so rude. That night, all the animals, big and small, had a meeting. Everyone agreed they couldn't go on this way. They promised to be good friends. The rhino wouldn't knock down any more trees. The lion wouldn't roar so loudly. And the crocodile wouldn't gnash his teeth all the time. And the next time the sun rose over the land of shadows, the animals all woke up to their original sizes. The squirrel, the mouse, and the frog were small again. And the rhino, lion, and the crocodile were large again. Pretty soon, the lion happened to pass the little mouse. Good morning, the lion greeted her warmly. Is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you. But it's nice of you to ask. The mouse squeaked back with a smile. About the same time, the rhinoceros' head began to itch. He tramped gingerly over to the tree where the squirrel lived and said, Excuse me, squirrel, may I please rub against your tree? All the friendly at the pond as well. Hello, crocodile, croaked the frog. I am going out hopping in the meadow. You go ahead and gnash your teeth all you want to. So the animals at the land of a thousand shadows have lived in peace and friendship ever since. The end.